Rock Point Provincial Park, the most eastern provincial park on Lake Erie, and it's the Canada Day Long Weekend. We're Cheryl and Ben Coles. We've been camping together for over 35 years. A few years ago, we started doing video reviews of Ontario Provincial Parks to help people when researching places to visit. We are now in Season 5 of our park reviews. We hope this helps you in deciding where to have your next camping adventure. Now, now let's, let's go camping, camping with, with the Coles. Coles. You only get one life, I want to make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. In this episode, we're going to be checking out the park as well as checking out a nearby farmer's market and a beautiful winery. Yes, stay tuned. Let's get into it. Rock Point Provincial Park is classified as a recreational park in the southwest and central region near the town of Dunville. It is the easternmost provincial park on the shore of Lake Erie. to Rock Point. It's the last of the Lake Erie provincial parks that we have yet to visit. This drive is a lot nicer than what we've just done. Uh, it's only an hour and 45 minutes, so that's better than uh, multiple days to 12 hour drives. We yeah. appreciate this. Yes, so we'll see you when we get there. Nice short drive today. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Hello. Hello. We're registered. Uh, 111. So we're at the dump station. Um, there are two dumps. Uh, they are not threaded. There is two portable uh, fill ups, and they are threaded, and there's one on each side for left or right of the trailer. Here we are, Site 111 in Nice Campground. Happy Canada Day, everybody. There are four campgrounds with a total of 175 sites. Kinsey Campground is all electric with 38 sites. Nice Campground has 41 electric sites and three non-electric sites. Minor Campground is all non-electric with 44 sites. And Lookout Campground is all non-electric with 49 sites. There are three group sites with water taps, fire ring, picnic tables, and flush toilets. There is a day use area with a picnic shelter on the west end of the park along the beach. There are barrier free comfort stations with flush toilets and showers in Lookout, Kinsey, and Minor campgrounds. Minor and Kinsey also have laundry facilities. There is a comfort station with flush toilets only in the group camping area. There are three children's playgrounds, one in Kinsey Campground, one between Minor and Lookout Campgrounds, and one in the day use area. There's also a basketball net and a play field. There's a barrier-free park store for firewood, ice, camping supplies, groceries, gifts, souvenirs, snacks, hot food and drinks. There's a one kilometer long sand slash pebble beach that goes from the campground to the day use area. Dogs on leash are permitted on the far west end of the beach. There is a 6.3 kilometer hiking trail that goes throughout the park consisting of the Woodlot Trail, which is a 2 kilometer linear trail rated as moderate, and a 3 kilometer bird watching trail rated as easy. Let's go check out the campsites! You said let's jump on a bus and take a ride downtown Well I don't know about that We have the whole just to ourselves so we can clean the house or clear out some shelves you said whichever you feel like doing first i said well i don't know about that cause it's my lazy day just wanna lazy away ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day you can try to seduce me make me wanna play i don't know about that Let's call some friends over for a game of poker or so. Well, I don't know about. 
Should I turn on the TV or the radio? Well, I don't know about that. But there's a whole list full of all the things we can do. But I want to do none. Wish that you did too. So you can just keep trying and I'll just keep saying. I don't know about that. Cause it's my lady. There are three group campsites. They all come with picnic tables and a fire pit. They all share a mini comfort station, which has three flushable toilets and soap and water. Um, there's one tap at that little comfort station, I believe, to share for all three group areas. Um, this one is 302, and it's a definite walk-in site only. You can't drive your vehicle into this one. This is really rocky, hard to walk in. So you definitely want some sort of water shoes on. Uh, not a lot of sand here, it's all rocks. But very nice beach, water's a nice temperature, and Jax is loving it. This is a nice dog beach. Yes. Go get it. Good boy, Jax. Go get it. Uh-oh, that's too far, Daddy. Go get it. Atta boy. good boy. You get it, Jax. Good boy! You did it! Yay! That's my swimming dog. Good boy! Yay, Jack! I know them. Hey, I know you guys. I didn't know if you guys would be here yet. No, we actually just drove. Yeah, we just saw your site. No, you did. missed this, and then we. You're closer than we thought. I know. Thank you. Some of you may remember a little clip we had in our Lake St. Peter video last year. Uh, I accidentally left my camera at Jamie and Kelly's site and uh, picked up my camera about 10 minutes later. Didn't look at the footage on it until I was editing the video. And I found a little clip that Jamie and Kelly made called Camping Entertaining with Kelly. So I added that clip at the end of the video and we got a pretty good response from it. So I asked Jamie and Kelly if they'd put together another camping entertaining with Kelly, and they did. This is it. Oh, hello. Welcome to Camping Entertaining with Kelly. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a tasty little campfire treat that's so easy to prepare, yet so delightful to share. And it even qualifies as keeping it healthy. Would you like to know how to make it? I like to call it apple pie on a stick. Put on your prettiest apron and let's begin. Here's what you need to make apple pie on a stick. You're going to need some apple wedges. It's fine to leave the skin on, but I recommend taking out the core and the seeds. You're also going to need some cinnamon sugar. Now I mixed this up at home before I came. It's a very simple mixture of white sugar and cinnamon. Would you like to have a look? Nothing too fancy, keeping it simple. Now, 
I did say this was camping entertaining with Kelly. That's why I have these other things. Now, when my guests come, I have serving dishes. They can put their apple pie in the bowl or they can set it on the plate. And when they're done, into the fire it goes. The forks keep it not too messy. That's why I have those. The other thing that you and your guests will appreciate are the wet wipes. <gasps> Look, it's camping with the coals. They're coming over later. The wet wipes are helpful because in between roasting, you'll be able to wipe the forks and also dab any of the cinnamon sugar that might be left on your lips. Now, some of you might be wondering, how do I get a big roasting stick out of my teeny tiny trailer? This is how I do it, watch. Now I have a roasting stick for my apples. To prepare, you're going to take an apple wedge. Now, I'm going to put it onto my roasting stick. If you would like to use a little bit of a flavor boost, you can always put this in some lemon juice be to begin. But remember, I'm just keeping it simple. Now, you can take a spoon of the cinnamon sugar and you're just going to shake it onto your apple slice. Get as much on there as you like and any that falls in the bowl, it'll be nice to dip in. Then you're gonna take it to the fire and roast it until it's golden brown. Now, some of you might be thinking, why does she have a frying pan out? Because sometimes you can't have a fire when you're camping. So you can do this in a frying pan as well. All you would do is melt some butter or some margarine, then add some of your cinnamon sugar, get a nice, beautiful sauce in there, and then just fry up your apple cores in the pan. It'll taste just as good. But would you like to see them roasting over the fire? I know you would. Come on over and we'll go do that now. So here I am making my apple pies on a stick. I'm just turning them and I'm wanting them to get just golden brown, preferably not black. The beauty is, unlike a marshmallow, they typically aren't going to burst into flames. Yum, yum. I can hear that sugar and cinnamon sizzling. Apple pie on a stick. Why, that is just a beautiful thing, apple pie on a stick. I'm going to scoop it into my bowl. And remember, I said that you could dip it into all that beautiful leftover cinnamon sugar. Yum, yum. And now for the very best part. Oh, beautiful and soft. Smells delicious. Mmm, mmm. Delicious. Now here's a little tip for those of you who'd like to spice things up a little bit. You could try pineapple. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Camping Entertaining with Kelly. Bye-bye. Wish that I could stay Wish for this moment to never go away But it's all in my mind I know that there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light the Woodlot Trail. We just came down to the limestone where the fossils are. It's very cool. Over 350 million years old approximately. It's very cool. Kids will love this. All you can see Thinking about what your life came to be You're a beautiful
beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light Here's a good boy. And you can't put up a fight in the midst of It's Cheryl's Lou Review, Lou Review, let's all talk about Lou's. Don't ask Ben, don't ask Jack, ask Cheryl, Cheryl's Lou Review. So there are a handful of vault toilets in the campground, three in the campground and two in the day use area. There probably could be a couple more in the camping area. Um, these have seen better days, I'm sure. Some of them need to be pumped out. They're getting quite full. Um, there's basically just, these are pit toilets holding the ground. There's a, a running tap. Um, there's no soap. There's no paper towel. There's no light. There's no hooks. There's no garbage cans. Um, they need some TLC, some updating for sure. You see the one at the dog beach areas. Uh, getting reconstructed or rebuilt the frames are being rebuilt which is good so I hope they continue that with the rest of them um, surprisingly they, I haven't noticed a smell but just overall for a rating I think I'm gonna give these ones a smell <laughs> from the park is the farmer's market in the town of Dunville. It is open on Saturdays from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. and on Tuesdays from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Come out and enjoy. chilled. Great for a hot day. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they're sweet. What are they? 
sugar plum berries. <laughs> They're yummy. Mm -hmm. Park Store is located in Deus Area 1. They have Park Store merch, a few grocery items, a few um, refrigerated items, some toiletry items. They also carry ice cream starting at $5 a scoop and some uh, warm foods such as uh, onion rings, fries, chicken fingers. For cell phone service, Kudo, Bell, Telus, Virgin Mobile, there's virtually no service. Your cell phone is basically an expensive flashlight here. Uh, it's very surprising, even driving outside of the park, uh, there's little to no service. I'm not sure what the people that live around here do for, for cell coverage, but uh, trying to back into the site, Cheryl called me, we uh, said hi, that's about it, and then got disconnected. Uh, tried to receive another phone call, and uh, it was just, are you there, are you there, are you there? Uh, we did get a couple text messages through, in terms of uh, getting any data, any uh, anything from the internet, uh, it, there's really nothing. The uh, you have to go to Dunville, which is uh, about 10 kilometers away, in order to get any cell service. Okay, so I made the cell service sound really bad, and it is really. But uh, if you do go down to the day use area, to the beach area, you can get somewhat of a signal. Uh, it's very weak. It's certainly nothing that you could use for business or anything like that. Um, but you can sometimes get a little something of a signal. For fishing in the park, the only place to fish is in Lake Erie off the shore. Uh, or I guess you could go out in a uh, canoe or kayak, but there is no boat launch here at all. Um, a lot of people stand on the uh, limestone shore because there's a drop off into the water there. They fish there. Smallmouth, largemouth bass, and pickerel are common things to catch here. Now you can also uh, go into the town of Dunville, 10 kilometers away. There's a boat launch there that goes into the Grand River and you can fish there. So we just got awakened by a really loud bang uh, from outside of the trailer. Jack started barking his head off. We mm -hmm. came outside to find this. Uh, a branch has broken, has come down, hit the trailer. Um, it doesn't look like it's too bad right now. Uh, it doesn't look like it's, it's done much damage, but uh, in the daylight, we're gonna have to get out here and have a look and uh, see what happened. And then maybe a park staff come and cut this branch down so that we can get out of here. But uh, that was quite a scare. Jeez. Actually, I should probably get up there right now and have a look to see if there's any damage to the roof because uh, uh, it's a rainy night. I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. Look how lucky we are. There's the break in the tree right there. Hopefully it doesn't come down anymore. Okay, well that's that. Okay. Nothing we can do right now. Wait till the morning. Look how that went around our trailer. Isn't that incredible? It's 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> We're hightailing it out of our campsite because that gigantic branch came down. So this is the first time I've ever dumped at night. Uh, I'm glad we have the headlamps so that we can see what we're doing. We're just getting the heck out of Dodge because we can't trust 
that that branch is going to continue coming down and it was right over top of where we we're sleeping so there's still going to be light thunder and lightning and pouring rain yeah. hey it's holiday monday and no lineup isn't that amazing hi pretty girl hi hi baby It's time again for Cole's Notes, and this is for Rock Point Provincial Park. And we're not doing this from Rock Point. We're actually doing it from McGregor Point right now. We are. Normally, we record our Cole's Notes the morning that we leave a park. But as you saw, uh, we were interrupted a little bit. Yeah, that didn't happen. It was in the middle of the night, and it wasn't a good time to do it. No, 2.30 in the morning is probably not a good time to record Cole's no. Notes as we're trying to uh, pack up in the dark and trying to get out there before the rain comes and before the rest of the branch comes down on top of our trailer. Mm -hmm. That was fun. So we're at beautiful McGregor Point right now and that'll be our next park review video for you to watch. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. That's right. So Rock Point. Well, I like the park itself. It was a nice little park. Mm -hmm. um, the sites were quite private. I like the beach area. I like that there was a nice large designated dog beach area. It was a rocky beach. Yeah. Um, I really like the limestone. Uh, with the fossils. Down the beach area, the oh, fossils, yeah. seeing all those fossils, 350 million years old. Uh, approximately. Yeah, give yeah. or take a year or two. Yeah, so that's one of the highlights of that park. You know, kids would love that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that trail along there. Mm -hmm. um, with Lodge Trail? I think so, yeah. There's a lot of spots <laughs> that you can go down to the limestone, mm -hmm. um, and or you can just walk along the beach, walk along the limestone, and then so there's limestone out at the water, and then there's uh, the area that it's all seashells that are all smashed up. Mm -hmm. uh, so it looks like sand, but it's all seashells. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool, kind of different. Yeah. We like that. Uh, yeah. That being said, though, the park is plagued with uh, there's a couple poor maintenance. There's a couple issues. Yeah, the maintenance issue. Um, and the cleanliness. Yeah, the washroom facilities in general. Um, we got there on the Thursday and let's just say nothing looked like it was cleaned. The garbages were full at the comfort station. The floors were dirty. The counters were dirty. Um, even the vault toilets, uh, the one in the day use area too, looked like it, it was getting piled pretty hot. And that baby needed to be pumped out. And it was the beginning of the Canada Day long weekend. I'd hate to see it after the long weekend yeah um yeah they could have used a little tlc like a chunk of the roof was missing out of the one yeah. although uh the vault toilets of the dog beach area there was a guy working um constructing the wood frame for i don't know i don't think it was brand new but i think he no, was just he's re rebuilding the outer part casing. of the uh yeah. of the uh, vault toilet well, well that's good mm -hmm. um, so they are trying yeah but the uh somewhat the showers and the comfort stations yeah needed a little more attention I don't know whether they're short staffed or whatever, but still. Yeah, yeah. it was kind of on mm -hmm. ordering on gross. Yeah. Um, there mm -hmm. is some, some garbage in the uh, washroom, like that was uh, behind the toilet. Um, and it was there on Thursday afternoon when we got there. And it was there on Sunday afternoon still. So that means the comfort station hadn't been cleaned for all those days. And I think most parks clean the comfort station at least twice. once or twice a day. Right. And I don't think those ones has been touched at all. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's not good. Um, I don't know if that's a normal thing or if they're short staffed right now or whatever. This is our first time ever being there. Mm -hmm. but this is our impression of it. Yeah, um, it's not, it's at the bottom of the list right now for, uh, for cleanliness of the parks that we've been to yeah. yes yes um and and the general maintenance too like the uh, the lookout uh, along the trail there it's very overgrown uh so it's you're kind of dodging a lot of greenery in order to get mm -hmm. up onto the lookout and a lot of the boards should be replaced um a lot of graffiti up there um as far as the greenery hanging over like that's something typical that parks do. They just kind of clean the, the trails a mm -hmm, little bit, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Uh, so you're not having prune to back duck some, and dodge. Yeah, and prune and... back some of the things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, of course, there's the branch that came down on top of our trailer. Yeah, now, but... You can't catch the, all that sort no, of stuff. No. You know, they're not going through the, every site looking up and checking to see if a I branch is I mean, it was intact fall, until it wasn't. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then I, I think all the, the the storms they've been having and the weight of the rain just took its toll and yeah. down it came. So when we got home, well, 
few hours later, I, I called during the business hours and called the park and told them about the branch coming yes. down and said that the site shouldn't be used until that branch is removed. Mm -hmm. They thanked me and that was that. That was that. Mm -hmm. Oh, another thing I liked about um, the campground was they had little gravel pathways like to the comfort station and to the sites behind us and to the hydro post. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, you're not having to trounce through the greenery and poison ivy to get to it. Yeah, and even those little trails, like they're 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 actual gravel trails. They're mm -hmm. not just trails that people have worn into the yeah. ground there. And they still allow for privacy, even though they're going in behind sites and everything yep. else. It's well treated there, and uh, those trails are pretty cool. I wish other campgrounds would do that. Yeah, I like them to the comfort station, so you don't have to go all the way to the end of the road, around the bend, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's nice just to have some. And we had Sue and John in the next row over from us, mm -hmm. and we had a nice little path that took us right to their site. Yeah. So we really like that. Mm -hmm. So I like the park. It was a nice mm -hmm. park. Yeah, they had a little store. Just needs to be cleaned up a bit. Yeah, ice cream and some hot snacks. Mm-hmm. Now the beach, just I forgot to mention, the beach is nice, but it's a very rocky beach. Yeah. There's no always, real sandy beach. Always have water shoes, I think. Yeah. Just because you never know what you're going to get yourself and into. And it's pretty much hard to walk in yeah. everywhere that I saw that we went in. It was pretty rocky. And, water and shoes are a good idea. Mm -hmm. But there was sand, some sand, but... And there's really not a spot to go uh, kayaking or paddle boarding unless you're going right into Lake Erie, so you need some calm water from there. Yeah, but that water can change in an instant. Yeah. Um, you could go a uh, little outside of the park and the mouth of the Grand River is there mm -hmm. and you could uh, possibly go in there. We didn't uh, check that out. Though. We didn't even take our kayaks on that one. No. And in the area, we did go to a winery. We However, did. that was about 40 kilometers away. So it was that's, worth it. that's pretty far away. But yeah, that was a great winery. We went to the uh, farmer's market in Dunsville. Dunsville is a nice town. Yep. Um, Very tiny farmer's market. Yeah. But, but yeah, they had good stuff there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it was on the... Uh, on the Grand. Yeah, on the Grand right. River. It's very nice. So in terms of rating? Mm, I'm just because of some of the issues that we were dealing with. Yeah, it's hard to get past some of that maintenance and cleanliness Because of issues. that, I, I think we'll give it a six and a half maybe. Yeah, I think what a six think? and a half is, is a good rating for that. Yeah. So that is it. We're rating it a six and a half. Six and a half it is. So you guessed it. The next park we're going to, here we are. The Greater Point. Point. So we'll see ya in the next video. Bye for now. I don't know about